Aloha, this is Kevin Kimball. We are now moving on to our fourth and final worksheet that we'll be using to show how to create various pivot table reports. This worksheet is titled Salesperson Reports Data File. The first pivot table that we'll be creating will ask you to determine the total orders for each salesperson. In this you'll create a report that lists all salespeople and their total order amounts sales for the year. So let's switch over to that and as you can see here you've got to change the tab from the customer reports data worksheet to now the salesperson reports data worksheet but the process will still be the same. Insert, pivot table, accept the range which is 800 rows long and now we are going to drag and drop salesperson. Well, in fact in this case the default is to put it on the row so I'm just going to click salesperson, puts it there automatically and then the order amount you click and it puts it there automatically and then as mentioned before you can simply go here and choose to single comma the thousands marker and that's pretty much it if you wanted to go over to design and choose one of these designs let's choose one of those uh, it can make it look a little bit nicer if that's helpful to you um, as you can tell it lost the uh, settings there so I probably if I wanted to use these value field settings I could um, choose number format here and choose number and thousand separator so now when I choose different designs I shouldn't lose that uh, setting I would have expected that the uh, width would have changed in this case but you can uh, you can just double click and it'll change the width for you so I hope you got that to work and we're done with this one so aloha well I, I better give you a, a name for this uh, worksheet to make sure we've saved it. So we will uh, rename it and this is D D I this is sa uh, total sales by sales person. Okay and now we're done. Aloha.